Hi guys. Here we are again in MLF. Today we will show you the new features of version 3.0 of BBeat. The first thing to do is to update the operating system by updating the BBeat manager software. As soon as we load the BBeat manager, it pops up a window asking me if I want to update the software to the latest version because it detects that this version is out of date. So, I launch the BBeat manager version update. Here starts the BBeat manager program update. It takes a few minutes, and then the update for the BBeat hardware will start. Once the update of the BBeat manager is completed, you have to connect again to the BBeat hardware, and in this message, you see that I am prompted to update to the latest version available by downloading it directly to BBeat. Let's get on with it. All right, now the BBeat manager is updating the BBeat hardware. It will take a few minutes, and then we will be ready with a new version. Okay, the update is complete. All we have left to do is connect to the BBeat again. One of the innovative features we have included in version 3.0 of BBeat is text writing. The text can be written within the audio projects that uploaded to BBeat directly from the BBeat manager. An operation made particularly easy via the BBeat manager, as opposed to using normal DAWs, where writing a text requires a very high level of technical competence. We have simplified all the operations, writing a text, and then creating the so-called prompter track for each project that we load into BBeat, has become extremely simple. The work is divided into two steps. The first is the writing of the text within the project, and the second step is synchronization. Both operations are made very simple by the intuitive interface of the BBeat manager. Let us see how importing, or rather, writing text into a file is done. This is the file within which we want to insert our text. You see that an area has been added in this part below, in addition to the sheet music and extra content, an area called text. This way we can upload a text, which will be the one related to the file. Well, let's see how to add text. We select this function together with the add or edit text button. Now we have the text editing screen, where we can proceed in two ways. The first is to write a text like this, and we can write all the text strings in this way, and proceed to the end of the song. The other way is to upload a text, possibly to a Word file or to any text file, we copy it. Then select all the text and do a copy operation, we go to the BBeat manager and paste it exactly here. And we can see it in this position. Of course, we can delete the empty lines. We can copy, cut out parts, and decide to edit this text as in a normal text editor. This line we see is the display and monitor optimization line. Let us consider that some display modes, e.g., with very large fonts, letters outside this line may not be displayed correctly. So it is always better to do something like this, 
and then remove the words that overlap from this point or divide the screens in some way so that the text never exceeds this point. The synchronization step that follows is equally simple. Next, we use this key to synchronize a line of text. Let's start the music, and all we do is press sync whenever we want a line of text to appear on the monitor. When we are familiar with the track, it is extremely easy to synchronize the text lines. Then the positions can be changed with a plus and minus key, and thus we have the possibility to adjust the synchronization to a very high level. Here, as you can see, we have finished the synchronization. The song has been fully synchronized, so the text strings will be played and transmitted to the tablet in time according to the needs of the song's metrics. As you can see, it shows us how the text will be displayed in this area of the screen. Of course, we can also make changes. So with this button we can resynchronize a portion of the track, we are going to synchronize the portion that follows this point. Another feature we added with version 3.0 is the possibility of inserting a default background image. This is done by uploading images in JPEG or PNG format to the media section. Then from the configuration menu, you select a default background image in this window. Here, this will be the image that will be shown whenever on the monitor. Therefore in the HDMI output, there will be no video or other images. As an example in a stop or pause execution situation. We have added two more languages, which are Spanish and French for the Beat Beat Manager. The language is selected from the configuration page. In the application language menu, you see that English, Italian, German, Spanish and French are now available. Responsiveness has also been optimized for the Beat Beat Manager. So the software can now also be used in zoom mode, and all those problems that created some difficulties in using the manager have been removed, because when using screens with different resolutions, some buttons were not accessible. Another very important function that has been added is the possibility of exporting a project. So to save a project without having to make a full backup of the machine, I select the project and press this icon on the right that asks me if I want to export the chosen project. This saves the project with its modifications directly on the computer and can be reloaded or transferred to another B-Beat or another group of projects that we have saved. This means that projects can be transferred from one backup to another in a far more flexible manner. Well, we have shown you all the most relevant new features of the new version. Of course, some bugs have also been fixed, some minor malfunctions, and some of the functions of both B-Beat and the B-Beat have been speeded up and optimized. Keep in touch because next month another major update with some very innovative functions will be released next month. Bye everyone and thanks from MLive.